Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today. I'm gonna be starting up a series for the channel. So I'm very fortunate to have a number of different shows going on in July right now, which I very much need because I have way too many canvases and not enough places to store them. But at the end of July, I'm going to be showing at Bellevue Arts Fair in tandem with the Bellevue Arts Museum, which is fantastic, but I need to make sure that I have enough inventory and enough quality inventory to be showing there. Which brings me to the series that I'm starting here today. I happen to come across a large 12 pack of small canvases that are all identical in size. And it got me thinking that often when I go to these art fairs, I find that these smaller canvases that sell for less money encourage sales and are better for people to buy just because it's easier as an impulse buy for them and it's easier for them to find places for it on their walls. So I wanted to take this 12 pack of small canvases and do a giant series of 12 paintings all based around animal mascots. So what I want to do for this is work with four different colors and have three different mascots for each color. And my idea here is to work within the next four weeks and do three canvases each week, each week corresponding to one of the colors in the series. So we're starting here today with the maroon colors. And I'm just going to start by grabbing three of my canvases, laying them out on my spray table as I usually do, and coming in with a nice, dark red maroonish color and spraying all three of those canvases flat. Fairly simple process for the backgrounds compared to what I've been doing a lot recently with all the stencils and different taped off line elements and everything like that. Then as always we bring those canvases over to the studio in order to start the sketching and the painting process. So my idea for these is that each of the four colors is going to correspond to the colors of the animals that I'm using for these mascots. So for these maroon ones I'm going to be doing exclusively red toned animals. And the first of those three red toned animals is going to be a ladybug. The ladybug is going to be very cute and plump as the mascot costume, but then the person under the mascot is going to be like one of my normal Blue Meanies characters. And the Blue Meanie character obviously has to be pretty mean looking as the name suggests. Then the second of the animals in this red series is going to be a red bird mostly inspired by a cardinal. And once again, the mascot costume itself is going to be quite goofy and, and silly looking, and then the blue meanie inside the beak there is going to be a little bit sunken looking. And then with the final one, I wanted to break convention a little bit. It's going to be a crab, so still a red animal, but instead of having an entire mascot costume on, I wanted this guy to just be a pretty uh, stubborn looking, pouty guy wearing just a crab hat with the claws coming off on the top. Just as a little goofy insert to put in there and change it up from the rest of the things. So, let's get into it, shall we? And see if I can pull some really cool stuff off with this series here. It's gonna be going on for four weeks, so make sure to stay tuned for all of it and enjoy the process.
course, with all of these, I wanted to throw in my style with it. I needed to have the classic Modi jewelry going on on there, the classic blue mini jewels, as I put with everything I do. And then I also wanted to give each one a cool set of kicks. These shoes are kind of made up, but they're pretty much like a combination between Chucks and Tims in one way or another with, you know, pretty bright colors for most of them. Well, there you have it, my peoples. The maroon section of this 12 canvas series is complete. And you know, I think they accomplished exactly what I was trying to go out for with these. They're simple, they're fun, they look good on a wall, they're a nice like pop of color. They're interesting characters that you want to like check out for a little while. And uh, yeah, they have nice designs and, and they work with my style really, really well. But let me know what you guys think of the pieces down in the comments below. And let me know if you have any suggestions for any future videos or any suggestions for any animals I should use for the other colors. I'm going to be doing a green, a orange, and a pink as the other three colors that are coming up here in the series. So yeah, if you have any suggestions for any of the animals you want to see in those future ones, let me know down in the comments below. And let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other video I've made. I'd be happy to go through them all and respond to them personally as I always do. And you know, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. That would be fantastic. And if you like me, you like the channel and you want to help support me, the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe. I really couldn't thank you enough if you did. It means the world to me. And with all that out of the way, and without further ado, let's get in those final shots, shall we? Thanks for watching.